Yep, that was one heck of a shot to take on. Enormous, in fact. Yeah. But I hope that red pulls up there, Ronnie, so we can drop the one in on, on the black. And I would suggest, we were talking off air there, myself and Sean, he was saying, surely Ronnie will get it done with one visit. Is it this one? One. Eight. Was that one shot too far from Pang Jun Shu? Nothing you can do about it now. Nine. He's got to watch the best match finisher of all time. Yeah, he'd certainly like to beat his highest break of the day so far, which is probably a break of 82 Seven. in frame 10. Very unusual, as Sean mentioned earlier, for only not to make a century. Certainly in a match this, of this length. Uh, anything 82 or above will do the job just fine. 24. Twenty-five. Yeah, and I think it's worth saying, you know, there are players who would have panicked had their opponent have eaten into their lead, such as Pang has here, but Ronnie's just been around so long, seen it all before, done it all before. You know, the alarm bells won't have been ringing for him. 32. Thirty-three. Pink spot looks occupied, so when Ronnie pots this pink, it'll probably go in the back of the cluster. And that'll be out of the way for the loose red. Yeah. And just a question here of whether Ronnie leaves the angle on the next red to free to split the reds or plays for black or blue and splits the reds off them. He looks fully focused here. Looks like he's clicked up a mental gear. Sees this is the chance to win frame and match. Let me go up for blue. Good chance. Because it's quite a nice target to hit. And Fault once again, the cue ball is exemplary. That is absolutely perfect. Just got to be a little bit careful with this cannon. But if this goes right, it could be all over. Forty-five. Forty-six. Well, if he stuns it, he might even be able to hold on the pink, but he's through for black. Really well played. What's the angle like? He's only... Well, not great, actually. Just a couple of shots away from having this done and dusted. And that is experience right there because lots of players would have tried to force that on and off the cushion. 59. For the red next to the black into the same pocket as the black. Ronnie too experienced for that. Yeah. Six. Very good. Yeah, this is how to finish a match off, isn't it? This is... As if you, just, you could see the focus straight away. I could see in his face he realised this was the chance from reaching the second round. 68. Hasn't been plain sailing. I didn't have to say that all day. And a very spirited comeback from his opponent. There's certainly a young player of potential and we'll see more of him. 73. The crowd favourite. And the seven times champion of the world is going to progress into 74. round two. And I'm pretty sure that this run out that he's had today, match say he's not had a lot of match play recently, will do him the world of good. 71. He's basically done what was required 81. today. And we've mentioned before these first rounds can sometimes be a bit tricky. Oh. It's not there, but he won't Ronnie worry about that. His young opponent comes up, shakes his hand. Ronnie wishes them all the best. 
Japan. And eventually yeah. it's Ryo Sullivan who comes through. He beats Pan Junshu by 10 frames to 7 and progresses into round 2.